<laughs> so welcome back, friends, to a call this anonymous sponsored by Roll20, the Onyx Path, and viewers like you. Thank you very much to our patrons who support us monetarily, uh, hang out with us, uh, and do cool stuff and support the show. And and I'll be honest, um, kind of incentivize me to do extra stuff, uh, which is kind of cool to have that like little cheering squad in the background. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But a special shout out to Adele, Al, Alan, Michael, Alexander, Bernie, Blood Angel, Brandon, Chris, Delore, uh, Emil, Funzo Suru Ali, who has graciously changed their name with the full <laughs> pronunciation. So I will stop fucking it up. Thank you. Uh, George, Jack, Jenny, John, Josh, Cat Feathers, Crazy Man, Awake, no, no N, Awake, uh, Melissa, Michael, Milo, Moku, MySpace, Emo Kid which is not the name he had before. Uh, Neo Magus, Noba, Other Michael, Perry, Puppeteer, Ramon, Roviscrad, Ryan, uh, Shaksara, Sinna, That Dude, The Lake Mr. Graves, The Real Mystery, Thomas, uh, Vortex, Woodfoot, and Zoltan. Uh, thank you all so much for your support. Um, cool. <laughs> yes, that we watch the chat and Patreon names like a hawk. Oh, Twitch chat, I love you all. Uh, so yes, as promised on Discord, uh, we're gonna start off with a cool little thing. Uh, basically, the Cabal went behind my back, not really behind my back, I knew it was coming, and actually got together with Brenna and they commissioned the long-awaited, wait, hang on here, wait for it, da, 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 beach scene. Yay! So yes, we have, uh, you can't see my cursor, um, but yes, we have we have Songbird. We have Weird in her like turn of the century like beach dress under a, a hat under an umbrella because y'all know she burns. She done tan. She burns. Uh, Atratus in like I don't know what that swimsuit is, but it's pretty great. Um, uh, uh, I almost said Titus. That is a network. And then Titus over there on the side who's yelling, "I'm open!" And Songbird is like, "Nah, run farther." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is so very, very good. Uh, so I think that is absolutely terrific. Uh, again, thank you, uh, Brenna, for doing that. Um, and the Cabal what for the? making it. Um, and it's, yes, it's very, very good. Uh, interesting OBS, so I can actually see Twitch The Noctal agrees with me. Titus is chasing the birds. <laughs> see, I don't, I don't know. Catch uh, his clamble. Yes. Uh, but I left a little bird detail on the blanket. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah, that's so yeah. The border's little birds. Yes, Every, um, everything. The fancy works. sandwiches. I like the, love the ravens there. I love that Fembird looks so fierce. Well, yeah, because it's, yeah. it's Songbird. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yes. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's, that, that's it. That's all we have. There's absolutely nothing else today. Or is there? Except the game. So yeah, we're we're, we're going to do some cyberpunk. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, also, Twitch chat, please let me know if that um, was weirdly volumed because I had no good way to test that volume. Uh, YouTube guys, um, I know I didn't play a video for you here because you can just go watch the HD version. Uh, there's a link uh, above a Travis's head over there ish um that you can click on i should go watch in hd and stuff like that um it was a bit loud well too bad uh, <laughs> or i mean we can we can replay it again and then awkwardly sit here in silence i realized i was like i have no good way to mute us so we could talk uh yep so uh you want to talk about who the guests are uh yes that's that yeah thank you for reminding me uh yeah we have two special guests so not only will it be the four of us but we are also going to be including um the rest of my wife <laughs> well not chris's wife but my wife um the rest of the oa team uh so my wife our graphic designer who does a lot of all this stuff uh is going to be helping uh not going to be helping she's going to be playing and so is brenna our artist. Uh, so yes, uh, they're gonna come hang out and play with us. And characters have already been rolled, and they've been not talking to put to too fine a time. Not to put too fine a point on it. She's not our artist. She's an artist we have engaged periodically. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little nuts, and especially because some folks have said that they're going to dress up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a thing. <laughs> It's going to be a thing. I've seen I've seen some of the stuff that um, Amanda has um, 
got together. <laughs> it's, it's going to be so dumb. <laughs> Cyberpunk. <laughs> it's it's going to be so good. Uh, so, uh, yes. Oh, and actually, uh, Crazy Man, thank you for pointing that out. If any of you are not on Discord, please come by and check it out. I highly suggest it. Somebody who I do now know who it is, um, I'm not spoiling who it is, but has decided to just <laughs> run an ARG in our Discord and has been on Twitter and Discord and giving weird clues to different things that tracking stuff down and which way. And it's it's been, um, it came out of nowhere. Um, so I was kind of iffy at first, but yeah, no. Uh, so there's a special little, um, you know, Discord channel for chasing this thing down and figuring out what it is. And I have no idea. Uh, but fortunately, the rest of the community has kind of dived into it. Craig has been like, munching through some ciphers and code and stuff Doing like the ciphers. that yeah um so it's been like, very I'm cool glad y'all are having fun <laughs> yeah i know i'm like i'm over here working is, and every now and then yeah. i'll say here's a whole bunch of stuff i'm like what is going never mind i have to work um so this weekend i think the end will be coming so uh check out for that uh, ARG means alternate reality alternate. game or altered reality game or augmented reality game Whatever. It's basically something that's happening in reality that's totally real, guys, but is just part of, you know, whatever. Um, so usually marketing campaigns. <laughs> usually marketing <laughs> campaigns. No, this is just some 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 member of our community. Fun. Yeah, uh, which is very cool. Um, and not tall. Cracks and puzzles. Not tall. I have definitely thought about how to hire like Brenda, like full time. Well, full time like on a monthly yeah. retainer or something like that. Uh, it's one of those, hey, Patreons, like you give the support there, we can maybe do that kind of stuff and have like regular new art coming out for new scenes and stuff like that, which would be kind of super cool. Um, so yeah, uh, LARPing a puzzle game. That's exactly it. Yeah. So um, <laughs> any of you who are not still caught up on OA, you may want to turn back now uh, <laughs> because we're getting back into it. Um, so, yes. Um, whew. Uh, when we last left the Cabal, um, they ripped bones out of their best friend. Ripped is a strong word. Shaped and wiggled them out. We did uh, describe how it happened. Yeah. The bones uh, were removed. A wiggle removed. pull. <laughs> the bones were removed. New ones were placed back in. Uh, the old fine. bones animated to walk around. Uh, so... So I have a question because I'm kind of curious about one aspect. He's going to be vulnerable to a, a displacement. That means the healing you get from regeneration isn't permanent? Correct. Correct. Yeah. The spell okay. actually calls out that... Yeah, uh, because the lie sucks. The lie sucks. Yeah. Like, the, like, healing, like, if it was knitting up, like, a wound, it would be fine. But, like, re regrowing a limb or something, that will go away. Yep. Yeah, so that's... It, it's one of the rough parts of being a mage is, like, I can totally fix this, but... And, and in my mind, it's the high level supernatural high speed regeneration. That is the issue. Like if you were to carefully care for somebody with just like little bits of healing here and there and let them scar up naturally and stuff like that, then maybe you'd be OK. But in this case, regrowing like whole limbs and uh, organs and stuff like that suddenly has uh, a problem. And yeah, the spoke calls out. Kind of put it down to like. Damage to your actual pattern, right? To your like mm -hmm. sort of supernal mm -hmm. self. Yep. Uh, like yeah. Like it is. It is true that you do not have bones now. Right. Magic can fix that, but it doesn't yeah. make it any more any less well, true. Yeah, magic can spackle over that. But right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or as Death Fox points out, yeah, give somebody lizard regeneration and then let let time and pass, which you could do wait. with some time magic. And there's there's yeah you know. Uh, but but in that's this part, not going to regenerate a skeleton. <laughs> right. Uh, so it could probably regrow, like, some missing fingers. Right. But, but uh, yeah. With that, um, nice, clean set of grimoire-inscribed, Stygian-oriented grimoire that I believe Atreus hey. actually used to resurrect. To animate itself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know you have your friend, you know, um, Bones, but you could really shape that so that the Bones become leaves of a book, right? I mean... Like, they'd be bone plates instead? Couldn't you do that? I don't know if that would mess with the um, actual grimoire. Hmm. 
It's yeah, just going to be easier to read that way. Sure. Um, though that is a very good point. Uh, and one of the big things uh, that the whole concilium, more or less, th those who are involved in it, were like unsure about removing the bones from Judd is the idea of, well, what will happen to the grimoire afterwards? You know, um, and right. answer is, in this case, nothing, which also is a small little, this is more than a standard grimoire kind of thing, which at this point, all of you already knew anyways. So, um, but uh, yes, Judd's bones uh, reattached, put back together. Um, still regroup, has yeah. Yeah, regroup, thank you. Uh, still has deviant powers that we're not sure about. <clears throat> and... Um, <laughs> Just moving right along with my life. Um, but that does mean that the Cabal now has all five of the grimoires all separated and, and uh, uh, avatar of an seer archmage sitting in Atratus's Oneros. Whoops. That's fun. That's still there. So who wants to... Wreck a civilization. <laughs> and we have to go um, round up the other two. Which I thought I could open it and like anyone could go through. Because um, people who aren't go, in Phoenixes have come with me. Go to the temple, like, because we haven't specified exactly where the temp, uh, where that closet door leads. Um, in my head, it was not right to or inside the temple. No. Um, so the the door to um, to the temple has been like closed, save unless somebody is a member of the Ebon Phoenix. Um, now, of course, you can talk with Supe and change your security uh, settings. But uh, last last you guys went by, uh, you said no. Activate all the security measures. So I guess that's what we're. Yeah, gotta go collect the last two, check in on everybody who was there and make sure that nothing happens. You're not gonna have an issue getting hang on. Uh, the first one that we did, that actually belonged to did that belong to the arrows? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not they gonna have, have it, getting yeah. that, right? I mean he uh Songbird has enough status to borrow a grimoire again. As far as the as far as the entire concilium is concerned, sure. but, these are five. But we're, boring, but we're not boring a grimoire. We're boring the grimoire. I mean, to the arrows, it's just another grimoire. Correct. They didn't have it for sixty years, and we're fine. Mm. Yep. Yeah, they, they 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 know it's it's kind of beefy in the fact that it has bonus scale and potency. But other than that, they're like okay, and in in the end, like they have a lot of you know, other stuff as well. They have actual artifacts yeah. in that armory. So a grimoire, eh. Like, it's interesting to us, but... Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure if anyone else knew what everything that we knew about these things, it would be a lot more interesting to a lot more people. Yep. Yeah, that's Which is why you, know. why you guys have kept that list to a minimum, mm -hmm. I think. Very short. Giza, the counselors, um, Pip, who is a counselor, um... I that's think that's literally it. it. Yeah. So just so that it's out there and we're all making fully informed decisions, it's, I mean, I don't have a lot of experience or anything, but it's my understanding that Archmages tend to cause a lot of collateral damage. Are you prepared for the temple to get nuked? We're not doing I this thought, there. I thought we talked about doing it there. No. Okay. So we're we're gonna gonna upstate New York. Where are we going to do it then? Yeah, way out in the middle of the booties. Okay. Oh, and Craig, I did see your message, by the way. Just okay. yep. um, some lovely farmhouse in upstate New York. <laughs> some some Far once away lovely from place. Anyone? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Cabin in the woods for some fucking evil dead shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so cool. So uh, Tritus is going to swing by the temple and go pick up everybody who's down there. Uh, yeah, first, though, I've been rolling Resolving Composure, right? For mm -hmm. my not yep. being taken over. Yep. I'm going to do an Augment Mind. Okay. 
to let me cue this up. It's gonna have steps. Um Yeah, I want to put both of them at five. I could go higher with more um by spending mana and having mm -hmm. more potency. Uh but let's see what my dice pool looks like. It's already a potency spell, so it's at four. Because it's a mind spell, correct. Mm -hmm. I can increase one dot of an attribute by one dot per level of potency. It's like so four dots. So if I do minus four, that'll give me six to play with. Creatures, I've got high speech for two, my soul stone for three, and shadow name for three. Cool. Uh, so... 9 minus 6 is 3, plus 8 is 11. Okay. Um, I'll go 9 and do another potency. Okay. Jesus, 7 successes. <laughs> cool. So that means you could get another potency um, with, the, with the exceptional success. Uh, but mm -hmm. before you do that, uh, as you open mm -hmm. yourself up to the will and... Uh, Gears, well, that's more of a Obrimos thing. But as you try to cast a spell, uh, resolve plus composure, please. Uh, I have one willpower. <laughs> <laughs> good thing you had that good night's sleep. I'll spend it. One success. Where, where was the success at? The success was back at the willpower. So there you go. It. Um, cool. So how would you like to spend that exceptional success since you are in control of your own, you know, mind right now? <laughs> My mind. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Had four. I took three more, so I've got seven to spend. Now that puts me at six and six for both, which sounds good. Um, yeah, I'll just take another potency. Cool, there you go. Uh, and don't forget that now that the spell is done, an exceptional success also gets you a willpower back. Okay. Yeah, so, so you still have one. <laughs> Um, and then your maximum willpower may go up as well, because willpower is... Uh, it, it did, yeah, when I did that. Yep. So I'm at resolve six, composure seven. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, so <laughs> get, getting your head on straight, quite literally, uh, metaphorically, I guess, um, and, uh, make your way down to, uh, visit Supe and, uh, the rest of the... Eben Phoenix and a whole bunch of very confused adamantine arrow talons. Uh, um, cool. Uh, anybody else going with Atratus? Or you guys got other stuff uh, planned for the morning? Yeah, that's where I put Aesop, so I was going to... Okay. Yeah, the, take... the lightning jar and the fables okay. are what's there now. Okay. Um, also because I'm going to keep an eye on Atratus. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Sure. Um, which, uh, just to remind you, um, I believe this, uh, is after the talking to that songbird just got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cause uh, I finished editing the video like yesterday. <laughs> it was like, all right, that happened. Um, mm -hmm. cool. So you guys make your way down into, I don't know, what do we call that? A pillar column of the entrance to the temple, the temple wards. It's like, a, it's like a curved hallway of stairs, right? Right. Uh, or it's a ramp, technically. Um, but uh, yeah, going down inside like a like a pit. Yeah, cenote so, so is the is the term that comes to mind, but there's no water at the bottom, so I don't know if that still applies. But yeah, you find your way down at the bottom in front of the giant um, double doors. They appear to be blocked, still warded. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. The eyes of the Supe face on the doors 
light up and immediately creak open about one person width um, right at the center uh, for a Tratus. And everybody else, can if they I, stick close, can can get through. Um, can I like drop the extra security from here? You don't. You personally do not actually have control over the spell. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if like I could like talk to Supe from out here. From your experience, um, Supe has a whole bunch of scrying viewpoints within the temple. Um, so Supe is very likely able to see and hear you. So long as you're inside the temple. Okay, uh, I'm going to do that then. Standing Thor, like, can we disengage the enhanced security? There, so everyone can get in and we're not in danger. There's a short silence. Nothing really happens. Nothing really happens. You do, you are staring at two skeletons who had popped up, if you guys remember that front little reception area those two skeletons who had been in the door are like standing near the door weapons lowered but not advancing and then eventually kind of drop their weapons which just splash into the floor melting cool. into it and then just kind of like pull themselves back up into their little sconces and eyes close well, I guess they don't have eyes, but the lights in their eyes go out. Their eye sockets go out. All right. So let's go. Yep. After that, you guys can make your way back through the couple tunnels uh, to the mage quarters where everybody had been kind of stashed. None of them are like any worse for wear. A uh, little bit of, you know, being on watch boredom. Uh, there, whatever Moros was lucky enough to pull this shift is just absolutely gaga going bonkers over the heavy metal garden. <laughs> uh, I get it. Yep, it's pretty red. Mm -hmm. uh, besides I that, nothing, hmm? nothing happened here. Then y'all were good. No, um, <laughs> Chad has just noticed Weird's gnosis has gone up. Which we will actually need to come back to that uh, here in a minute because uh, we need to talk about any revelations that Weird has had. But uh, the they're just Talons, right? Is, what is there a group name? Whatever. Anyways, the Cabal of Talons, yeah, appear to be absolutely nonplus. They're they're super chill about everything, kind of checking their watches. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing happened. The um, because they had the lightning bottle and Aesop's fables, I believe. Mm -hmm. And to turn those up, there's definitely some talk of, hey, Songbird, uh, can we borrow the the jar sometime? Like, because that's a that's a hell of a toy. Mm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'll put you on the list. There's a couple people who need it first. Uh, but yeah, Onyx has a little chat with you, kind of does a quick debrief, which is very quick. And the fact of she asks you what you were up to, you probably don't give her all too much information. And getting the fifth grimoire. <laughs> right. And she gives her, her debrief, which was so and so went on watch, then woke so and so who went on watch, then woke so and so who went on watch, and then you guys showed up. Very excellent. Yeah. There's a little bit of we were kind of let down if the fact that we literally didn't spend, you know, about 24 hours in a. Atlantean temple. <laughs> and when you guys leave kind of on the way out, Supe stops by and checks with Atratus, basically gives a status report of several, uh, several. He's not speaking in vague terms, four different attempts to breach the wards of the temple were thwarted. He did a cursory check of the wards. Nothing has slipped through, did patrols. But otherwise, something was trying to do something. What exactly they were trying to do is beyond Supe's knowledge. But there was an attempt to breach, as Supe calls it, the sanctum. Okay. Um. 
turn to song and be like, do you have any ideas on how to see what that was? Do you want to see what that was? Because, I mean, it sounds worth checking in. Checking out? Yeah, the, the timing is... Uh... Suspicious, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean... I feel that we probably know our likeliest candidate, yeah? I think if it was our... Well, if you were thinking of the same one I'm thinking of, then it wouldn't have been a knock. Like they wouldn't have been attempting to pierce, pierce the wards. They would have just done it. No, Zolius. Don't. Zolius. That's not who I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Who are you talking about? The other one. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I think mean, it was the other one. There wouldn't have been a knock. Now, and that's med- kind of iffy. Because you're talking about ancient wards set up by a supernal being beforehand. It's one of those things that you don't have any record for of what actually happens. Con- being convinced and, and noting that, no, that probably could have knocked the whole thing down isn't a bad idea, but at the same time, the grimoire has been sitting here for a while, so it's it's definitely okay. iffy. But it is definitely worth noting that it could have been either member. So, yeah. Okay. Well, they didn't get in. Um. So, let's get out of here. Yep. Remove the. <laughs> yeah. The things uh, that they really want. Bird. So I know the cabin in the middle of the woods that nobody uses. Sounds good. <laughs> I made the same face, Chris. <laughs> oh shit. I haven't been there. Somber didn't say that. Somber has no idea. (laughs) I haven't been there in a long, long time. All right, well. Down into Massachusetts, isn't it? Um, I think so. I don't even remember now. (laughs) It's been a while. Would Um, I have a strong enough connection there to. Yeah. That was a different person. Uh, there's well, a little bit of that, but also the fact that so much time and distance has gone by, mm-hmm. and the place itself wasn't important. What you were doing had been important. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, Songbird hasn't gotten the um, the one from the arrows yet, right? No. Nope. Because yet. I basically want to take most of them and then have you come later because I don't want to put them <laughs> in the same vicinity. While we're in the city. And and suddenly suddenly you have a arcanical reaction. My thought was we uh, rent two different cars and Atratus and I drive things separately. Weird pops in with the last one. I mean, because weird could be there in a jiffy. There's no need to like put them in separate cars though, because even if you have four of them together, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, Unless someone tries to, you know, grab for them, take them in Ralt. Uh, are you guys having this conversation back at the rookery, I imagine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a tactical plan. Split them up. You have two yep. there, two there, and a fifth one coming with the person who can literally teleport. And also keep an eye on how the drives are going. <laughs> also very true. Weird can be set up at the command center again where she spent six months. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cool, so is that the plan then? Yeah, sounds good. I just bit my tongue, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to cash in on some dots of resources. Okay. And rent some nice cars. Cool. Nice cars. And by nice yeah. cars, do you also mean like secured or just like classy, roomy, luxury sedan kind of thing? No, I'm talking like a Lamborghini. 
Ah. Okay. Luxury cars. Performance, I think. Yeah. Travis, think, you yeah, may I need don't to think, teach yourself how to drive stick. I don't think Lamborghini <laughs> counts as a luxury car. Yeah. Um, I didn't say luxury. I said yeah. nice. I think, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah, that's that's probably going to blow like all of Acanthus's money for the month. Mm-hmm. Cool. So uh, Songbird is taking. Are, are we good with this plan of two, two and one? Yeah. OK, uh, so which two? Well, I can probably guess the jar and the adamantine arrow, the cerebromancy. OK, mm-hmm. and then Atratus is probably taking the grimoire, the grimoire. Yeah, uh, the the bones who can sit in shotgun um, mm-hmm. and, <laughs> you can drive an and, the, and the very, very creepy scroll, because I imagine weird is going to hang on to Aesop's fables. Sure. OK. The human skin scroll <laughs> being held by the uh, that skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which, by the Makes way, sense. I forgot to mention um, because I was so short wrapped up. Um, those bones are not normal. Um, they they are like pristinely white with the mm-hmm. black like etching and, and engraving. They are perfected bone or something are they one would have to test well i think kind of try to just pick I it up and know where site tell me yeah songbird would i guess that's true bone. yes it is perfected, perfected bone. bone perfected bone uh yeah the only way to get that is to have it perfected when you take it out of a body <laughs> or whatever happened to Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah 500 years of death magic yeah <laughs> Yep. So, the do you guys have matching car colors, or are they different car colors? Do we? No, one's red and one's black. Duh. <laughs> I don't know why I asked. Yes, thank you. Very good point. Come on. Cool. So you guys kind of uh, actually, Travis, are you comfortable driving driving sick? I mean. Probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's not worth side sidetracking the uh, thing. And now Atreides needs to cast a spell to, yeah. Don't give uh, myself the ability to do this. Right. Or you can just say, she already knows how. So Gabe manifests next to you, materializes <laughs> next to you, looks over and says, hey. You on the drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the skeleton gets thrown well into the front trunk. I think, if if I remember correctly, for Lambos, um, similar to to Tesla. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't actually know car stuff, but I'm just trying to remember what fucking... images I've seen. But I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. So cool. Uh, and now, uh, Atratus and Gabe can definitely drive in the HOA lane, HOV lane. Uh, HOA. HOA lane, whole other thing, and no, it is not best. Uh, nope. Cool. So those two take off. Uh, weird, I imagine you set up in uh, the rookery, have yep. your legacy attainments to make scrying windows on both of them super easily, and your latest attainment, which if you'd like to tell everybody what that is, because now that you have Gnosis 8. I can teleport. <laughs> To uh, cabal members, or teleport cabal members to me. Yep. Just so you instead know. of just collocates, you can actually yep. just just yeah yeah. And it has the ups and downsides, and the fact that it's always the two ends are going to be a cabal mate. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a, and collocate has a little bit more use in the fact that you can set it up and move things through it, but in a pinch, when you need to do something in a hurry, uh, yoink! Works but I can great. also, that that comes with, because I've got the fate to go with it, it comes with Fool's Rush in. So if I'm teleporting in to help somebody out, I can just apply Fool's Rush in as part of the attainment. That's nice. Yep. yep. Cool. Uh, and since we're talking about um, Weird and Gnosis 8, 
holy fuck. Um, is there any new uh, developments that have happened in Weird's thinking on the universe and existence? Because at this point, you were kind of reaching the limits of mage gnosis. Yeah, um, the encounter with an arc, arc mage and what we're kind of engaging in sort of uh, help Weird realize her current limitations um and uh understand a little better her how like her place in in the evolving age society uh combined with songbirds like where songbird is headed um sort of opened up weird to to new possibilities that she hadn't really considered before cool um all right and no changes to vice and virtue Mm, not yet no Uh, I'm still thinking about those. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so yeah, we have the cabal split yet again. Um, well, that sort yeah, of, sort of. <laughs> weird, weird changes the idea of a party being split. Yeah. Distance is a lie. Cool. Um, are you guys going separate paths? By the way, Lambo drivers. It's probably a good idea because these cars are conspicuous. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> I had plans. Plans that included driving. Plans did not include two cars. Splitting up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, hang on. No, I'm I'm good with this. I have to think about Are you gonna ward the cars before we head out? Work the cars. Then, then let's go ahead and get some die rolls for those wards then real mm-hmm. quick because I have to think about NPC meddling well yes but also what their thought process is mm-hmm. time for road wards and yes I do think I get DM points for for parties being split eventually I'll have something to spend that XP on it's like the diffuse Threat points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the party does something dumb, you get threat points. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, willpower is resolve plus composure. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So I actually have like three more than I have on this chart. Yeah. Technically, I think the way it works is you your max has increased, but your current doesn't. Uh, but I'm not too stressed about that. Spell. Especially since you cast that on be a full day. So mm-hmm. all right. Um would I have time before they leave to do this? Do what? We probably have to go pick up a thing. What are you doing, weird? I'm just um if I have ritual time to to do this I mean, spell. if you tell us you want to do a spell, we can just wait. Yep. And I, I mean, I can do it through the vid window. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and so, yeah. you. Because you the words in sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is. The scale is going to be a problem. Because the oh, car is already will, advanced scale. I yeah. will make it advanced scale. Okay. And then minus two. And then it can be not a problem at all cool right mm-hmm. yeah that's true because i hadn't thought about the extra free reach that you had still i got reach yeah. yep. okay so a seven dice and it's potency for words and signs just enough to somber's minds enough to like on the incident that someone is trying this mm-hmm. it'll be a little bit of a roadblock mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hopefully no roadblocks yeah, literally <laughs> or metaphorically. So with situation spell. And you can roll that, uh, Chris. No. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Huh. 
Uh, what was scale? How much uh, scale do I have to count for? Chris did. Um, I did advance minus two. Pull up the actual thing. If you were to do it. Uh, oh, yeah. That might actually have to be advanced scale. Where is the scale section? I'm going to try again with the willpower. Okay. All right, one success. One's all you need. Let's see here. Size. Sports car is a size 10. So, yeah, you have to do advanced scale minus two. Oh, yeah, actually, that's exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I might be off of my entrance. How many entrance do I get? All of them. Because <laughs> your dose is eight. <laughs> yeah. Like five or something? I don't think you get yep. five until... No, you do? Already? Dang. Still caps out at plus five, but... Unless you take all those extra negatives. So that's... Uh... 15. Yep. Mage, where you learn to do basic arithmetic real fast, all the time. And that was uh, advanced potency, advanced scale, advanced duration for my reach. Okay. And what spell is this, by the way? This is Ward. Okay. Um, on the vehicle. Okay. Um, I will. Oh, there we go. Oh, it didn't go through. Oh, hang on. Sis. Thank you, Chris, for rolling the zero and one so that we <laughs> could roll the 12. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is what I've been successes. here for the entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> like to count that the other way, there were three, four, five, six, seven failed dice of the fifteen. Three re rolls. Oh, good lord. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do with your exceptional success besides taking a willpower? Because I don't know how you're doing on that. I know Songbird and Atratus were both low. I wish there was a way I could use that exceptional success to bolster Clash of Wills, but um, you can take another potency. Yeah, yeah, but potency duration. doesn't help with ward. Um, is duration already maxed out? Yeah, I paid duration for indefinite. Mm -hmm. um, let me compare. Nope. Bonus step: additional reach in the primary factor condition. All mana refunded. And then full potency at with no wristband. No, unfortunately, this one just you don't get any extra. Um, so it's take a condition. Beat. Yeah, condition yeah, on yourself condition. for or I'll the subject. Okay. All right. Um, oh, hmm. you know that's a good one. I'll give uh, Songbird a condition. Uh, you're casting it on the car. Oh, cars. on the car. So I can't give the car a condition. Yeah, I'll take a condition. I mean, you. Maybe the so cars are in pristine condition. Yeah, how do I give the car a condition, right? I mean, the car I mean, is informed, <laughs> and and then we all of a sudden we have Kit. Yeah. Get lucky. That's true. <laughs> Be charmed. Um, okay, so yeah, you take a uh, a bonus condition for pulling up skills. I'm so glad I made Network's character sheet. Um, <laughs> hmm. I think that's going to be a bonus to a cult. Cool. I'm doing preparation and such like that. So, yeah. The uh, two cards take off on separate parallel, basically, paths. I imagine very quickly getting off of the interstate, or does one of you take? 
you know, country roads either takes the interstate. What's what's the plan here? In vague terms, I don't need to pull out the Google Maps. You are headed to Massachusetts. Um, I couldn't find anything that actually said where it happened, Craig. So I just imagined it was close to home. It's in New England. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. Right. It was literally like where it stopped on the side of the highway and then walked into the woods for a couple hours. Right. And then found a cabin. Uh, highway for a while. Yeah, it's on the highway for a bit. Okay. So basically, same path and just a delay in time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Tumbers yeah. has to stop and get the. Um, the other grimoire. One from the. From the arrows. So. Yeah. Which does not take any big deal. It's more of walk in, wave to Pip, pick up the grimoire, sign it out, walk out. Uh, it's. <laughs> And yes, get a slushie from 7-Eleven. Uh, Occultist Anonymous, sponsored by... Yeah. No. Uh, cool. This car is Brought super nice, but I'm really Lamborghini. not, like... A <laughs> little nervous about taking it, like, out in the country. It's all right. Game isn't. Good, good news, <laughs> you are a matter mage and can make it really good at doing things. No, I'm more worried about getting pulled over by every podunk cop who sees a Lamborghini driving through their town. Very true. Very, very true. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) If only you had some sort of incognito presence. (laughs) That's true. I don't think you want to put that on your car, though, because that's a good way to get yourself run over. Or bumped into. When the other cars on the road don't see you. (laughs) True. True. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) I, there, there's nothing there. Yeah, let me just pull out. Let it coming. If you're a really good driver, it might not be a problem, but... Cool. So, with Gabe behind the wheel, who only spent a little bit of time revving up the Lambo before, like, okay, hang on, we actually have to get here in one piece. Yep. But... Adratus drives for... I don't know. Actually, let's see here. Hey, Google Maps. Oh, I shouldn't say that out loud. Otherwise, the phone. I knew it. It's probably like four hours. Cool. So they're driving for New four England hours. Small. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll be a Tratus first, and then about how long later, Songbird. Half hour. Okay. So Tratus. Takes off, hits the interstate. Yeah, give me a wits plus composure, Ash. Wits plus two, because I have seven composure now. Three successes. Cool. I have too many pages up. Okay, um, <clears throat> you're about an hour into the drive when you realize that there is a SUV that is doing its damnedest to keep up with you and Gabe. <laughs> cool. Now, for the most part, Gabe isn't like being overly lead footed because that is how you attract the cops, especially in the Lambo, but. You know, there's occasionally like, you know, stretches between towns and it's like, look, look forward, look back and just, all right, we're going to go 110 mm. for a little bit uh, and just be gone for a little while. Um, and. Uh, oh, OK. Um, go ahead. And uh, OK, so all right. weird has all the successes. Um. And the SUV, though, you, I think what you really notice is you spot it. It's just a standard black SUV, you know, larger excursion, expedition, whatever. But you spot it and spot it again then spot it again. And you've gone through a couple times. And anybody who's ever done like a longer drive, you have those like drive mm-hmm. buddies where it's like we're both going in the same direction and we keep seeing each other or passing each other you know any of that kind of back and forth but these guys solidly in your rearview mirror most of the time and 
at the inevitable because it's a four hour drive and you're driving a Lambo, which I'm going to guess doesn't have great gas mileage. So the second time you pull over into a gas station and they are also filling up. Probably go something's up. Cool. I'm going to text weird. Okay. But I, mean, I am being followed. Admittedly, you could probably just talk aloud to weird. Yeah, weird says, why are you texting me? I can talk to you through the vid window. Because, yeah, I, now that I think about it, because weird can make it two ways. So you may have this like floating, <laughs> floating weird face next to yeah, you. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you, you know, weird's looking like this as you're driving along. And then mm -hmm. you texted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we're being tailed. It's going to inevitably be pretty hard to shake them. Um, any advice? You're in a Lamborghini? Yeah. And you can't shake an SUV? Apparently not. Space Mage. Well, admittedly, like I said, Gabe has for the most part been like trying to keep it under the speed limit. We're trying limit. not to get actually oh, okay. arrested. You're right. not, yeah, you're keeping the speed limit. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Space Mages, you know, could really fuck with stuff because Ground Eater works on cars too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hey, uh, Songbird. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are you in relation to... Turns metal down. What, weird? <laughs> where are you in relation to Atratus? Because she's got a tail. I don't know. Oh, you guys are taking different routes? Yeah. So, sorry, I was I just got distracted with some spell casting here. Okay, that's fine. Carry on, turn your music back up. Right. Throw that one out of the way. Back to Atratus. <laughs> They also um, being tailed. <laughs> let me see if I can. You're driving right now. Yes. Yeah. Like I could hide the car, but I can't really do that where people can see because that's obvious. So, I incognito presence is not. You don't notice me flat out. It's. I'm not worthy of your attention. Right. And with incognito presence, it's one of those ones that I, like, cause I thought about it with drifter and like people need to actually like, imagine all the car wrecks we already have where people are actually able to see cars and just, oh, I didn't notice them. Now multiply that with incognito presence. If you had yeah. a skilled driver, you know, being able to react and dodge away because I, I I did the same thing you did where it's like okay they, but like you can walk through a crowd with incognito presence and no one just like slams into your face. I mean, honestly, they probably, they might. Yeah, potentially if it's crowded enough. I get where you're coming from, and I'm doing what I always do when we have stuff like this. What does the fluff of the spell say? Because yeah, it, it's definitely a possibility. Let's see here. It's like when they see you, their eyes just kind of drift off of you. They can't think about you. Yeah, so hides the psychic presence, causing onlookers to ignore them. When people look at them, they want to avert their eyes or barely notice. People can't remember seeing uh, seeing her when they're no longer looking her way. So, Which sounds bad if you're in a car and they're not actively I'm, looking at your car. Right. Yeah, they're going to change I, lanes into you. Yeah. I, I thought about the, the, the same the same thing because it's like oh this would be terrific for drifter driving about uh sounds real good way to get run over <laughs> yeah, especially with these little motorcycles what's that uh weird i just did a cooking dirty try and open up a spry window so i can see the uh, car that's following her oh okay um hmm. i'm doing a quick check of reach because that because you don't get the free reach. Um, yep. Let's see. One for remote casting. Or sensory range, remote casting. Instant. I'm in my sanctum, right? So. Mm, but that's not going to... But the target's not. not. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. I keep forgetting. Um, so. 
Wait, hang on. Space four? Don't you have space five? No. No, just four. Okay. Um, I'm only a first degree master. Right. <laughs> only. <laughs> and I'll be songbird. Right. Um, okay, so scry is two. You have one, two, three, four. Yeah, so um, you'll at least have to roll a little bit of paradox. Um, sure. Which, how much is uh, Gnosis 8 overreach? Because that's starting to get Thankful. heavy. <laughs> heavy duty yeah. paradox. Scroll. I really should just like save this somewhere. Uh, oh, okay. It's still only four. Um, so, yeah, uh, real quick instant, sensory, remote duration or do you just do it for a quick second i guess um i, I just wanted for like a quick sec so i can get a look on it and cast another one uh to get... yeah so that'll be three reach is there any other no i guess that's it so yeah you just barely make it under mm -hmm. right two three four mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Don't worry, I've only been playing mage for 18 months. Um, cool, so that's fine. The five successes can stand. Um, so as basically <laughs> Atratus kind of turns and you get uh, this vague image, because again, if you cast it on Atratus, you get the up close nope. of her. Well, I can, from Atratus, I can see the card using my attainment window. Right, right. No, that's that's what I'm talking about. Because okay, yeah, yeah. that scribe window is always going to be a close up of a subject. Everything sure. else is kind of hazy, but you can make out, you know, move the move the camera around so you're facing Atratus over her shoulder out the back window, and there's that black sedan. I'm okay with that. Okay, cool. Cool. So you roll your scry, get five successes, roll Gnosis plus space. Um, well, with five successes, can I bypass withstand? Or there, there is no withstand, I guess. Eh? Clash of wills. Clash of wills. Yep, Clash of Wills. Okay. Three successes. <laughs> Here's eight. No. Yep. You don't get to look at them. Yeah, which does immediately, you know, you know, let you know that there's a spellcaster involved and that they're not an Archmage. Uh, I'm gonna call Zolius. Okay. Zolius or Todd? I'm gonna call Zolius. Okay. Phone rings. Couple times. And a clipped English accented, uh, British accented English. Voice, kind of familiar, picks up Zolius's phone. And says hello. It's uh, the suit from, right? Is that who the English voice is that I remember? Female voice. Female voice. Oh. Ursula. Mm -hmm. it's, Urs it's Ursula? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Ursula. <laughs> yes. How you doing? Busy. Uh, we're working on your thing. But we picked up a trail, and I thought it might have been Zolius, so I wanted to check and see where he was. He's rather in indisposed right now. So he's not in a black SUV. No. Do you have somebody in a black SUV at this point? Do you think I need somebody in a black SUV at this point? Well, sometimes it's being discreet as no. well. Just thought I'd check. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
when when you call your old old cabal mate who's turned to seer and instead you get an arc mage, you're on your best behavior. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and I hang up the phone. Sure. Uh, well, so it's okay. not not Zolius, huh? I don't think it's Zolius. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why don't you slow down and see if you can get a picture of them, of them, them whoever's driving. Sure. I don't know if they'll um, let me like mm-hmm. back up to them, but we can see. Sure. Well, uh, if you slow down and they slow down, it's going to look pretty obvious. You're both going at yeah. the gas station right now, though. Five kilometers an hour. They had, no, they, they, it was, they the had gas station work. was what really gave Atratus the, like, Let me know clue. that, oh, we're, we're being followed. Mm-hmm. Um, the other option I mean, is also... that I can yank you back here and let, uh, oh, I guess your brother would, well, your brother would be able to stay there for a while. Mm-hmm. Let him keep yeah. on driving the car, and I can just yoink you back here. Yeah, I don't want to leave the things. Well, you would take the things with you. The things are They're currently in the trunk. In the trunk. Oh. And you can't access the trunk while it's driving, right? No, not, okay. not, not, not normally. No. <laughs> All right, well, I would say start driving again and then slow down and see if you can catch a look at them. So, like, sure. as, as you guys are talking, Gabe starts to to slow down. The SUV does start to get up a little bit closer, but then finds a nice, you know, say three or four car lengths back. At this point, uh, especially actually because the Tratus can actually, like, turn around and look mm-hmm. out the back. It's that tiny little window in a Lambo, but it's enough that you can see two figures in from well i guess you can only really see that they've got like t-shirts on uh the driver looks to be a larger um darker skinned uh man at this distance you can't quite you know make out too much um quite a lot of like curly hair the passenger is a woman of similar Complexion, that's the term. Um, also has dark hair and is, yeah, occasionally bringing up a pair of binoculars. Just kind of flip them off. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, the SUV just starts to move in a bit closer. And like, you can see that the binoculars come down and there's just this one slow (laughs) wave. And then you can see the figure kind of recline back into the chair. Cool. I remember Mythbusters is the real cool episode where they bolted square, like iron squares. Onto the wheels of a car. Yes. You just turn their tires into iron squares. This sounds like a great way to kill some people. No, <laughs> the car was an hour down the interstate. It was the car was totally drivable, completely maneuverable, but extremely uncomfortable <laughs> to move. Also, they are totally not the only people on the interstate. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm tempted to just like I don't want to go to like our end location with these people following me. Do you want to meet up somewhere else? I can relate that to Songbird. I'm trying to think what I could do. I mean, if Gabe wasn't driving, I could have him go screw with their car, but... Yeah, so I'm worried we could use your tactical input here. 
<laughs> Podcast folks, you're missing as uh, <laughs> Songbird is. It just He's like in the back with his hand really... on the wheel, just rocking out to the tunes, not paying attention. Uh, nah. Um, I can try and catch up. Yeah, I mean, I could pull over, go get. Oh, don't pull over. <laughs> I mean, I imagine I'll we're like up. a bit ahead of you. Uh, Thirty minutes, but yeah. if you but know. if y'all haven't been, let me say this: since I haven't narrated any of my actions yet, <laughs> I don't know that Songbird has restrained himself as well as uh, <laughs> as this game is has. One hundred percent fair. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch chat did remind me of a spell that will let me do what Gabe does. Uh, which is gremlins. Mm -hmm. So now gr the issue with gremlins is it's going to require a failure that become actually let me double check. Um, I think gremlins turns failures into uh, just pop failures. one of their tires. Oh yeah, it just turns the um. Yeah, if it's a failure. Uh, into a dramatic failure. Mm -hmm. So now that said, that's one of those things. If you, I mean, there's the potential of somebody being harmed, but there is the potential of driving and then trying to get away, which will invoke some drive rolls. And if they fail one of those, turning one of those into a dramatic failure, but that has potential consequences. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to wreck any of these cars driving down this interstate. Mm -hmm. um, I would just like for them to start having some trouble. Like, could I make one of their tires start going flat? Not like a blowout, but like, when you start feeling it pull and thump around because it's lost all of its air. Yeah, um, I mean, that's actually, I mean, within, well within Atratus's, uh Skill. Oh, actually, uh, you could lower, literally just lower the durability of a tire. Uh, durability or structure to the point of it's about to blow or something mm -hmm. like that. That's a potential thing. Um, outright destroying a tire is obviously available, as is, I think, of other options. Yeah, I'm not trying to just, just like straight up break it. Mm -hmm. um, that would be matter three. Mm -hmm. Or decay with death and, and literally just kind of wear the tire out. Or, yeah, Fox pointed out shaping, though that may be a little bit hard at this distance, because I tend to think of shaping as yeah. being something you manipulate. You have to just really manipulate it. No, I like decay as the idea of just sort of like, I'm dry rotting your tires. Yep. Cool. Uh, for each, I need it instant, I need it ranged. That's about it. Uh, let me yes. pull the spell exactly, but I think that's probably it. A decreased structure. Yeah, I'll take the bonus reach for that as mm -hmm. well. Right, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Which I have. Have in speeds. Mm -hmm. Um, It's already a potency spell. I'm not going to increase duration. I don't need it to last very long. No, I mean, all to... that would do is just have it continue to happen. Continue. I'm fine with it just breaking once. I mean, unless unless there are matter mages and can fix it. <laughs> um. Yeah, whatever. I'll take an advanced duration scale too. I have it. Yeah. Oh, and uh, actually, decay is death too. So yeah. Yeah, have... I know. That's what I'm saying. I have it. <laughs> yep. Okay. What is that number? 15? 10 and 15. Five successes. Cool. Would you like to add some bonus potency onto that or apply a condition to the subject, that front tire, or a condition to yourself? I don't know what that would be. Yeah, what kind of condition can I apply to a car to make it, like, stay broken? I mean, they could just, like, pull over and change the tire, I guess. Right, but, but I mean... I'm I'm cool with a condition oh, that makes a condition. it. You can, the resolution is change the tire. Yeah. No, you can give it 
bearing rack. Right. Yeah, I was going to say you, you can do something that basically like you know messes. Up. Actually, well, let, let's be honest. And now the shit's lo- the, fucked. Yeah, shit's <laughs> fucked. The condition, but uh, more mechanically or uh, more narratively, like the the lug nuts are just like on their tight and <laughs> just like well, you fuck. can't get it off. <laughs> yeah. Because that's yeah, the worst like part of changing a tire. Cool. Just seems like the kind of thing that will make them need to pull over. Um, so, uh, Gnosis plus uh, death, please. Four successes. Trying to think of, okay, <laughs> all the various bonuses. Okay, yeah. Um, so you can definitely watch just a little fling of your uh, fingers out, or however you uh, cast, and that front tire, back tire. Do we have a preference? Uh, I'm just gonna go for one of the front ones. And almost immediately, you can see it getting kind of misshapen and kind of twisted. And the SUV behind you starts to get a little squirrely on the road and it slowly pulls over to the side. Um, and the like over onto the shoulder driver hops out and you before you lose sight of them, you see uh, two more people hopping out of the back of the SUV as well. And you can see a spare tire being pulled out. And yeah, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> right. So, so Gabe, speed up some. <laughs> Yeah, he, he shifts it from, you know, 70 to, oh, okay, we'll push up towards 90. Uh, Songbird is barreling down the road at like 110 or some shit. Um, cool. Um, All right. So probably based on the speed Songbird is going in that half hour like difference, Songbird, you end up, you know, probably passing them in about 10 minutes. Um, SUV left side of the road you know, kind of folks matching the description. <laughs> and bye. Big brother uh, guy struggling to, with a tire iron. Wanted to roll this spell. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for reminding me. Well, what do we got here? Uh, it is crucible. Okay. On the car. Yep. And, oh, right, scale to actually affect are you, the car. Are you just unmaking the car? No, crucible is making the car better. Oh, okay. Oh, Make on the your car, car. Good. On your car. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, no, I'm of, not fucking with our car. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of overreach. Um, yep. So, how much? Three. Should... And uh, one mana. Okay. So, oh, two, two dice. One success. So, wisdom, please. One um, success. Cool. And then roll your. 11 minus 4 is 7. Oh, 11. Uh, and I figured Shadow Name applied because it's it's strictly from like this is a tool. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean matter and foraging and yeah. Three successes. Three. Cool. It is uh, what was now, the, if, the interesting thing is if I wanted to I could have spent a reach to make its availability three times more. <laughs> This is the most expensive car in the world. (laughs) Okay. Uh, So, yeah. I love Uh, that spell. Crucible is very good. Uh, There's a a mind one that I always think of the the, the, I need that or the give me that spell. Mm. Yeah. It is a luxury car now. That's true. Uh, Cool. I have five five rote rolls I can do. Oh, with With the star? Okay. Uh, you get to use drive the, rolls. Using the tool as a car. So yep. doesn't matter I don't have drive dots. I got some help, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue goes a long way. Um, is cool. drive a skill in this game? Mm-hmm. I would just, yeah. no one has any points in it. <laughs> yeah, Dri- drive is, is only necessary for I'm doing dumb James Bond stuff. Uh, actually, driving the car does not require drive. Same thing with checking your email with the computer skill. Mm-hmm. So, cool. Um, you guys continue on. Uh, does Songbird keep do play catch up, basically? So you guys are driving together, or do you kind of lag behind and keep a gap between the two of you? 
Uh, now that I know that people have been trying something, I'm more interested in being close to see what's going on. Cool. So, yeah, it takes you probably another five minutes, especially... <laughs> screaming up on y'all's right. ass. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> especially, you know, Weird has to, you know, d- does a quick little relay of information, but, you know... Yeah, you, you passed them back there, I hope. Yep. Cool. Um, maybe they'll stay there. Uh, for a while. For a bit, yeah. As you as you guys are having the chat, Gabe does say, um, by the way, uh, we're going to have to change out drivers probably soon because I'm I'm feeling it go. And that doesn't need to be a thing while I'm still <laughs> over in this seat. Yeah. So next gas station, you guys find pull over, fuel up. Gabe like just relaxes and just lets himself become incorporeal again. There's a couple of folks who are nearby going. Looking like into the driver's seat. seat back, and I'm like, he's not asleep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, was it there a person? Okay, whatever. Uh, no big deal. The seats don't lay back. No, I'm sure they I don't. I don't know anything about these. <laughs> and yeah, Death Fox, you can make the car drive itself. Yes, you could, but that will also make, you know. Oh, yeah, remote controlled. I, I guess that's true. You that'll can raise a few hands. eyebrows. Yeah. Well, you do the hands free driving, basically. Uh, <laughs> Oh boy, that, that that won't have any complications whatsoever. Um, all right, um, so yeah, you guys fuel up, grab uh, another Mountain Dew and some beef jerky, and <laughs> come on, man! No, this is this Somber is- <laughs> does not eat these things. <laughs> Slim Jim? No. Okay. Not a Slimothy James fan. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I usually do jelly beans, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I mean, I do. That's fair. Songbird has a body to think about. True. <laughs> Songbird also has life five and doesn't have a body to think about anymore. Yeah. No, I do not have life five. Don't you? You have four. Four. Damn. <laughs> Listen, I just kind of expect Songbird has life, has five in everything at this point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nearly so. But, uh, so yeah, you guys fuel up, uh, fuel up, and uh, make your way back onto the road for uh, another hour or so before you finally get find your exit and start to have to check your map uh, mm-hmm. programs and be like, where the hell is this cabin There's in the woods? Sat nav screens in the car. Oh yeah. But that, that's what I mean, checking those those. You to actually pay attention to right. it. Right. Uh, as opposed to, we have been on the interstate from, you know, New York to Boston, basically, and then finally having to actually make these weird turns and driving through some smaller towns that you guys definitely get some attention driving through mm-hmm. as everyone goes, what? <laughs> um, and uh, make your way. Uh, eventually to uh and, and weird correct me if i'm wrong but probably a dirt road uh like of a mile or two just back to a beat up seedy falling apart kind of cabin if i remember correctly it was mm-hmm. not in good repair no yep and make your way back that way no oh. and I, craig and weird both on how, how much of this is real but she was having visions of like little fake creatures and stuff out of the corner of her eye when she was there, but I don't know if that was part of her. Yeah. Right. So I don't know uh, yeah, it, it definitely, because uh, I imagine Weird mentions that, like, hey, just a heads up, there might be these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, Atratus and Songbird do not see any weird, fey, you know, creepy things. When, you know, uh, Atratus puts on spirit vision, perhaps, a quick little look around of okay nothing well actually i'm not going to say that you put on spirit vision because that does cause mana uh yeah but yeah looking around all my mana okay um but yeah looking around doesn't seem to be anything the place definitely feels dark and abandoned and and worn down but you are also two matter mages so that can be fixed Mm -hmm. but um that is actually where we will pause um just so I can Pugs. yeah, uh, re, re, re top off my own coffee um, and move about a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank everybody. Uh, uh, and no, supernal beings aren't in the normal world. You just kind of get a peek at them. Uh, they're in the supernal world, which 
orders hours and sometimes you can see echoes of them and things like that but they are not actually here um even if you t turn on mage site you may see them moving but they're not actually just right there yeah like we're seeing more moving around the city from time to time and that kind of thing mm -hmm. or uh Tratus had a bunch of people staring at her wondering what was wrong with her uh well people supernal beings so uh, yes, as always, uh, thank you for joining us. If you want to come chat with us, give us awesome episode names, uh, come by Discord, that's eatinto.space. Uh, if you're watching this live on Twitch, come see what a mystery is all about. And there's a bunch of pin stuff and you can try and figure out what's going on. Um, I have no idea. It's been terrific. Uh, I, mean, I got the dumb brain. <laughs> there's some riddles. Come there's, solve them. Yep. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. It's terrific. Um, if you want to support us monetarily, that's patreon.com slash occultist anonymous or staylucky.club. Uh, there's also merch out there that you can check out. Um, and uh, because Chris and I are doing stuff semi irregularly, uh, don't forget to come by twitch.tv slash occultist anonymous because we sometimes blow up Nazis on Sunday nights and not this Sunday, but next Sunday, uh, which YouTube guys will be this Sunday. Uh, <laughs> The 13th, we'll just say the 13th. Um, at this time, as uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, we will be playing Cyberpunk Red with uh, Brenna, our artist, an artist that we employ, and, uh, and my wife, uh, Amanda, who does all our graphic design. Um, if you don't know the difference between an artist and a graphic designer, come by. I'm sure they'll love to answer that question for the billionth time. Uh, so uh, Twitch guys will be back in just a minute. Uh, YouTube guys will see you on Friday. Stay lucky.